Hello and welcome to another HHH Racing Snapshot. I'm Howard Kravitz. Let's take a look at the Grade 3 Indiana Derby. This is at Horseshoe Indianapolis this Saturday. It's race 12. It's one of many Midwestern derbies this summer. We also have the Iowa Derby also being run on Saturday. But this is the Indiana Derby at Horseshoe in Naples. Let's take a look at the field. It's a very solid field of restricted three-year-old males. It starts with Trademark, who's 15 to 1 for Vicky Oliver. Then you have the two of first glimpse, 20 to 1. Carlos Silva, former jockey, is the trainer. Number three, Mowins, 15 to 1 for Michael Laurel. You have number four, King Ottoman for Steve Asterson, Marcelina Pedroza and the Irons, 5 to 1. New Year's Fever at 20 to 1, a longer shot for Brandy Steele as the trainer. Ral and Roll, who is cross entered in the Iowa Derby. So we're not sure as of this taping where Ral and Roll is going to go. Will he go in the Indiana Derby or will he go in the Iowa Derby? Either way, this trainee, uh, this horse trained by Ken McPeak, is only coming off a one week layoff, just won the American Derby for 200,000 at Churchill this past Saturday. So coming back very quickly. Then you have the number seven best, a best actor for Brad Cox and owners Gary and Mary West, four to one morning line, Floron Drew. Actuator coming off a big win, a main win by seven lengths for Michael McCarthy, James Graham. Unoho, the one-eyed wonder who upset the Rebels stakes at Oaklawn over the winter at 75 to one is under a new trainer, Robertino Diodoro, David Cohen, who is first call for Diodoro, Diodoro is uh, has the mount six to one morning line, and then Fowler Blue eight to one. Doug O'Neill with the blinkers on, and look who the jock is the Kentucky Derby winning jockey, Sonny Leone. I'm gonna go here with the number four, King Ottoman, just broke his maiden last time. But broke his maiden in a stake race. The Texas Derby is for 300000 And I like how he did it. Let's take a look at the replay, at least the stretch run of King Ottoman. Now, King Ottoman is the four horse here in the gray. And you can see he's going to tip out uh, right here. He did get a good setup. He did get a good trip. But this was a decent field. And I like a few things here. I like the fact that he was able to pass horses. And he did it well. Now, you're going to see him jump to his wrong lead here in a minute, which is important. You see he gets bumped right there. There's a little contact, and now he's on the wrong lead. He is on the left lead. But he does straighten himself out. He switches back to the correct lead, and he goes on and wins the Texas Derby over his over his stable meet and did it well. I like what he did. He's still a little bit green. He's still learning. He got an 88 buyer, which fits in this field. But look at the breeding. He's by Curlin out of a Tappet mare, hence he's gray. Uh, the Tappet mare is shook up. Uh, I, he's been working very well. I think he's going to get another good setup. I like Marcelino Pedroza, the jockey who knows the track well. I'm going with King Ottoman to repeat from last time uh, and have two in a row here, five to one Moyne line. My second choice is going to be the number eight actuator. Coming off a very impressive win. Now, that was going seven furlongs. This horse has gone two turns. In his second start, he went two turns. That was last year and on the turf. Perhaps he's just a different horse. He's bred very well by Bodie Meister of an Indian Charlie mare. Uh, this horse has plenty of speed. There is speed in the race. I'm a little concerned he might get caught up in a hot pace. He also has to get the distance. But this is a talented horse owned by black type. Uh, thorough, thoroughbreds, Jake Ballas, the managing partner there. They always do a great job. Uh, the horse is training very well. Michael McCarthy is very capable. What's amazing here, look at the top of his page. Only costs $2,200 at the sale. Amazing. He's already won seventy six grand, and now he's been one of the top choices in the Indiana Derby. My third choice is going to be Un Ojo, 6-1. to one. I've never been a huge fan of this horse, but there's two things I like about Unojo on Saturday. Number one, there's a lot of early speed in this race, and he's one of the best closers in this race. 
by the numbers, number one. And number two, I like the trainer switch to Diodoro. Diodoro is an excellent trainer. Uh, David Cohen, his go-to guy, is in the irons. Unoho has gotten a break since a difficult early winter uh, campaign. This is an easier spot. I think Diodoro is going to have his horse ready. I'm interested in Un Ojo a bit here at a price, if not on the win end, to clunk up and be somewhere in the money. So in the Indiana Derby, I'm going to go with King Ottoman. I think he's improving at the right time. It's a wide open field. I love the connections of Asperson and Marcelina Pedroza. I think he's very interesting in this race at a bit of a middling price. I'm going actuator who I expect to take a lot of money off of that seven length victory for excellent connections. And then I'm going with Un Ojo uh, in third to maybe upset the apple cart, not at 75 to one, but certainly at an interesting price. I am against rail and roll rail and roll might go to the Iowa Derby. He might not be in this race, but if he is in this race, I don't like him coming back in one week. And this is a tougher field than he faced last time. So I'm going with King Ottoman in the Indiana Derby. Good luck to everyone on Saturday.